let's start with uh, being a head coach. What has that transition been like? You were with the program for the last two years, but being elevated and knowing you had the confidence of the student athletes that you, they wanted you in that role. Yeah, I only, uh, I was here two years previously and uh, yeah, it's just been an easy transition because I've had the kids uh, since they were freshmen, some of them since they were freshmen, and it's been a good group of kids coming up. Um, the transition's been super easy. I mean, I haven't had any issues. Um, it's just a little bit more responsibility, but beyond that, it's the same thing going into it. Yeah. <laughs> what has this preseason been like? What are some of the, the focuses that you've had in getting the group ready for Friday? We've had some setbacks. Our pool was out for a little bit, but uh, we were doing some dry land workouts for the first couple weeks, and then the kids started to get a little bit more excited to get in the pool. Um, so uh, yeah, it's been great. Um, we've had uh, really good attendance and consistency, and I think the kids are finally excited to get in the pool and race some other teams. Yeah. Let's start with your freshman group. What have you seen out of this group of six um, that has you excited to see them swim in an actual meet? Uh, they're raw. They haven't had a lot of club swimming background, so um, this is kind of a new uh, experience for them, uh, specifically like the training aspects. So um, it's, it's going to be interesting how they do a lot more training. Um, weights are involved, so uh, yeah, I think uh, they're going to swim really fast and it's going to be different for them. Start with the women's team. Uh, seventh place finished last year. You had two student athletes are in all conference. Um, and you get your top swimmer back to yeah, yeah. available uh, yeah. spring semester. How much confidence does that give you, bringing back the core and then adding someone like Kate, who's had a ton of success in the past? Well, we had a great group at conference, obviously. Um, we had Annika. We had uh, Elise Barton, who was, ended up swimming really good, too, and, uh, and Jane. Um, yeah, it'll be like just an added element with Kate there. She's a senior, and she's a leader on the team. She's a team captain. So having her there is just going to – bring it all around. Um, yeah, it'll be a good group to go to conference for sure. Men's, on the men's side, you lose <laughs> two very talented seniors. Eric Norman, his name's up on the board for a number of things. Yeah. But you also bring back a really talented freshman class and hopefully continue to build there. Um, what have you seen out of your men's team thus far, and what are your kind of hopes and expectations? It's a small team, but that's okay. Uh, they're really close-knit. Um, we got a big junior class, so um, they're kind of running things. We don't have any seniors this year. Um, and we'll have John come back, who's a dual sport athlete uh, from golf. So um, I think the fact that they're such a close group, uh, it's going to be good for them. Um, the two freshmen that are coming in, again, they're raw, so they haven't swam um, college swimming before and not been a club background, so I think they're going to have a lot of talent coming in. You open with the NWC relays, five teams coming into Zen Bauer. What's kind of your hope, um, maybe not results-wise, but just seeing something out of your team heading into that first dual meet the following weekend? Just having fun. <laughs> I mean, this is going to be the first meet. I just want them to have fun and enjoy the experience of racing, and especially uh, four other teams in our conference. That's going to be such a big deal, and I think that's just going to snowball from there, uh, especially going into next week against Puget Sound and, and Pacific or PLU. So, yeah, I think, um, I think this is what we need this week, something fun, something fast, and then next week is when we get into our dual meets.